Welcome to another installment of African Farming Digital. Now, Panar has released a new seed technology that they have introduced to the farming community. To tell us more about this is Reggie from Panar. Reggie, welcome to African Farming. Thanks for having me, Tabs. Uh, it's really a great pleasure. So tell me more about the seed technology that you guys have introduced. Yes, Tabs. This is a high-performance uh, insect-resistant seed trait, which in helps or protects maize from above ground insects of the family of the, of the Lepidoptera. Oh, Lepidoptera, what exactly are those? Okay, these are moths and butterflies that will lay eggs on maize and then they will hedge and become caterpillars or moths which will feed on maize. So the technology protects the maize from being consumed or being uh, destroyed by these insects. So Reggie, please elaborate how does it work? Is it a chemical that you spray on a plant or does it work another way? So it's a seed trait, which means it is within the seed. As the plant grows, it protects the plant. How it works is it consists of three different proteins, each protein protecting insects in different stages that they could be consuming the maize. So in a way, it protects the maize from being eaten by these insects. Wait, so the insect eats this thing? And if it eats the thing, it dies. So is it safe for humans to consume then? It is very safe for humans. So Reggie, I want to know, is this seed, can it be planted um, throughout the country or only in certain regions? Okay, we've introduced to maybe about two or three of our varieties, uh, we've introduced the trait onto. So like the 5P902 PW is the variety that we currently have, which is mainly in the eastern production areas, that is KZN and Eastern Pumalanga. That is where it, pro it performs well. But we also encourage a farmer that he puts it onto a package. There are other varieties that he can include within his production. And uh, I can assure you, it has shown us, I would say, wonders, and it's performing very well. Reggie, I would like to know, are there certain requirements for using this technology on a farm? We are bound by law to, to plant them at a certain way. Uh, you require to have a refuge. What it means is you need to have a non-BT or a variety that can be consumed by these insects so that in the long run, the insects don't become resistant even to, to, to these BT. So the law requires that we have a refuge whenever we plant a BT as farmers. So it is imperative that we follow that regulation. Reggie, thank you so much for that insight. You're most welcome. For more information, please visit the Panar website to find out about this technology. Thank you so much for watching African Farming Digital. Remember, we farm better together. Get your free copy of the African Farming Magazine now at your nearest co-op and at africanfarming.com. Get the necessary cover for you and your family in the event of unforeseen misfortune. The African Farming Protector Plan offers you comprehensive funeral cover for your entire family plus extended family at an affordable cost. Our product also offers benefits such as monthly discounts on groceries, discounted bus tickets, ambulance services, and trauma and assault assistance, to name a few. For more information on the African Farming Comprehensive Funeral Plan, SMS African Farming to 45269 and get the peace of mind you deserve.